Welcome back. We're here with Legacy, the Neapolitan Mastiff. Now, these guys are really massive dogs, often weighing 70 kilos, and some males will get over 90. I would say Legacy here would be about 50 kg. They also have a bit of a problem with dribbling and drooling, but to their owners it's all part of the charm and can be easily sorted with a slobber cloth like this one. I don't think Legacy needs one though. <laughs> Legacy here seems pretty chilled out, but Button the Cat in our next story was quite the opposite. Thankfully, Jeff had some good advice. Hi, I'm Jeff, and welcome to House Calls. And we're here today to meet Audrey and her cat, Button. And so, where's Button? Under the bed, Jeff, in his usual place. He spends a lot of time under there lately because he's uh, a bit freaked out. OK, Button, where are you, Button? Come on, Button. Mr Button. Button is usually a happy, friendly cat, but lately he's become more and more scared. In the last week, the problem has become so bad that Button won't even come out from under the bed. Hey, you poor old boy. Audrey and Button have recently moved into the city after a lifetime of living the high life in the country. He just hasn't been able to settle since he since he moved up here, has he, Audrey? Can you tell me? Well, he's had a big fright with with another cat, who came in the other night and got up on top of the curtain rail, fell down behind the curtains, couldn't get out. Finally, I managed to chase it out with the aid of a cushion. You're a good boy, aren't you? Hey. And I'm just going to have a little look at him now and just give him a general examination because he hasn't been seen by a vet uh, for quite a long time. How old is he, Audrey? 12 or 13, I'm not quite sure. OK, so he's beautiful black and white cat. He's got a black patch under his chin, that's why he's called Button. Oh, that's his beautiful Button. So I'm just having a wee look, I'm having a wee look at his teeth. He's got quite a lot of tartar on his teeth, a little bit of gingivitis, and that's not uncommon for an older cat. OK, so I'm just going to have a wee feel of his tummy. You can learn a lot from just feeling an animal, especially a cat. We can feel right through their abdomen. I'm reasonably happy that his tummy feels fine. I'm just going to have a little listen to his heart now. So his heart, his heart is running quickly, but I can't hear any murmurs. So generally, I think he's in pretty good shape for his age. I think he's good. So really, it's probably an issue that we've got just with these problems with his behaviour. Yes, I think so. With all the changes in his life, Button hasn't been his usual relaxed self, hiding under the table or the bed. So Audrey, you must be really missing that, that lovely old Button who used to enjoy all that company. Yes, he's me mate. <laughs> Since my husband died, I've just had the cat for company. There are some good steps to making him feel safe in his own home. The first step is to make sure that other cats can't get through the cat door. There are some new cat doors that uh, have um, little electromagnetic cat doors and if he wears a magnet around his neck, it'll just let him through the cat door. Beyond that, there's an even newer cat technology out which actually reads the microchip which we could potentially place over his shoulder blade. And this is a really high-tech new cat door. Uh, it reads the microchip and uh, says, yes, this cat's allowed to come in. They're quite expensive. They're a bit over $300, I think, but uh, they're pretty clever technology and maybe Maybe Button needs to think about um, making uh, some savings towards one of those, Audrey. There's a, um, a pheromone analogue and it produces a feel-good smell that a cat places um, off the side of his face. When, when your cat is smooching up against things, he's leaving this, this nice, warm, fuzzy smell of himself around around his surroundings. And if we put one of these units into your, into your flat, it'll just generally make him feel much happier. It's a really, yeah. it's a simple thing. You won't be able to smell it yourself. And uh, that can work really, really well. It's actually a beautiful place that you live in here, and it is relatively quiet. There's some yeah. nice gardens out yeah. around the back of the flat, I see. So I'm sure that he'll actually adjust very well. I, I think it just needs some time, and uh, and preferably, you know, not too many, many more midnight intruders. You know, I, I mean, that would upset me as well. <laughs> I think we've just got to remember that we want to keep giving him lots of love and cuddles because he's really got to, got to know that, uh, that everybody loves him and that he's getting that reassurance. I mean, I mean, even I want to give him a wee smooch. He's such a nice old boy, isn't he? <laughs> 
it makes sense. Moving house can be pretty stressful, so it's bound to have an effect on our pets too. Yeah, for sure. Now, taking a dog this size for a run could be a bit daunting, but the truth is you don't really have to worry. They're much more of a long, slow walk kind of dog. So should we go for a long, slow walk? Come on. <laughs> Well, exercise is a really important part of caring for your pet. It's worth checking out the SPCA's website for more on animal care. The SPCA advances the welfare of animals through their 48 branches by rescuing, rehabilitating and rehoming animals, investigating animal cruelty and community education. You can support their work by following the SPCA's five welfare tips for animal owners. Make sure your pet's water supply is always topped up and they're fed daily. Your animal's shelter has to protect them from very hot and cold weather. Also check there's enough room for your pet. Always treat your animals with care and respect. Pets need to develop and grow in safe environments. Remember your animals rely on you to keep them healthy. Take them to the vet when they are sick or injured. Go to the website, there you can find out how to contact your local SPCA. After the break, Jeremy gets up close with some hungry sharks out in their natural environment. <laughs>